buy it. Everyone wanted to see the new car. Here it is. It's about the size of a skate. My fucking range bag's bigger than this thing. Uh, here it is. Here's the inside. Bill, I know you wanted to see it. It's just a little Hyundai. Little, good, reliable little car. Japanese, you know. They make good cars, man. What good is good, and then they're good. Uh, got someone with me today. We're going to the movies. And, uh, Ness. Wait a minute, I gotta make this fucking turn. Yeah, I curse in front of my kids. I don't see it's a big deal. Yes, I am a father. I am somebody's father. Can you believe that? But, uh, my parents cursed in front of me all my life, as you can see. And, uh, it's not a big deal. Plus, she's an adult now. Ness? Yeah. Put your hood down. Ness. Don't be shy. It's awkward. It's awkward? <laughs> you mean awkward? You gotta lose that Jersey accent, man. <laughs> Anything about Jersey, you need to get rid of. We don't like that place. Right? Yes. Why do you like Jersey? Because I was born there. Okay. So what is what is it about New Jersey that gives you a warm feeling in your gut? Can you come up with something? My friends. What about a state trooper being on every corner? Do you think that's necessary? No. Why is it like that over there? I don't know. Okay. Stupid. Because they're always breaking people's balls all the time. Uh, more and more people are moving out of there. They're moving back to PA because they're realizing it's just a pain in the ass over there. Unless you have a nice spread out area you live in, like Vineland or something like that, it's not too bad. Oh, it's still on me? <laughs> no. Ness? <laughs> Ness is short for Vanessa. How do you feel about the Second Amendment? The Second Amendment. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yes, I'm serious. What's the First Amendment? I don't know. Really? <laughs> I'm this not. is the problem with kids today. <laughs> this is what happens when you watch MTV all day. Do you know what MTV is? It's a big bag of shit. And it's uh, low quality people on MTV. All them actors and actresses, they're all full of shit. Remember that. I know the Fifth it's Amendment. It's crap. Everyone knows the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> the First Amendment is what? Freedom of speech. I told you that. What's, what's the Second Amendment most important to me? The right to, to have guns. Not to have guns. <laughs> it's the right to keep and bear arms. Do you have a right to protect yourself with a weapon? I will. Well, that's well, how basically. you feel about that. You think people should be able to have guns? Certain people. Do you think responsible people without a criminal record should be allowed to have a firearm? Yeah. Just wondering what you kids today think, because I know you know everything's real politically correct with your generation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, just wondering your view on that. Alright, say goodbye. Bye. Alright, we're on our way to the movies. We're going to go see Paranormal Activity 2 because I liked Paranormal 1 Activity. It was good. I like that shit. It freaks me out, that paranormal shit, anything like that. As you can see, I'm going towards the door in the day because I am a cheap bastard and I'm always broke. But there's always time to take Vanessa to the movies. How do you feel when I curse, Ness? Does, it, does, it, does that bother you? I don't really care. You don't care. Does it make you curse because I curse? No. I don't even really curse. I know you don't. I'm just trying to show, you know, these people that read books about how to raise kids and all them kind of weirdos? Put the book down and just to act like a normal human being. Right? And if you show you're just a decent person, that's all you gotta do. There's no big secret. Now there's a lot of people that are gonna leave comments, how dare you curse in front of that little girl? 
but she's 17. And I've been cursing in front of her since she came out of her mother's womb. But I do control myself when she's around. I don't get too nasty. Do I? No. So, as far as people being able to buy guns, you do agree with that? Yes. Why? <laughs> Why? What do you, what do you think this is NBC? <laughs> it's friggin' YouTube, who cares? Come on. I don't know, I just, because you need to protect yourself. That's right, you need to protect yourself. How do you feel about Mr. 45 Bullet, Bill? I don't know. You should know Bill. He's the one I talk to on the phone all the time. Oh. He came up from North Carolina. How do you feel about Bill? He's cool. He's very cool. Well, he takes his daughter to the range all the time. I think it's cool. I think we need to go to the range soon. You like to shoot. It's fun. And she's good. For some reason, women are good at shooting. Alright, so we're going to the movies. And uh, this is just a ride. I just This is just a stupid video to show you the little car. Uh, I have a couple jokes, but I can't say because my daughter's here. Because like I said, I do control myself a little bit. Alright? So, that's it. Goodbye. Oh. Uh, Know what we do before we go to the movies, Sean? Oh, is it in there? Yeah. You don't have to show. We go to the friggin' dollar store. You notice I said friggin' instead of the other word? We go to the friggin' dollar store, and we buy our candy and our soda there. Because if that movie theater thinks for one minute that I'm paying five dollars for a small Coke, for a small watered-down Coke and stale popcorn, they're out of their friggin' minds. Yep. All right, we're at the movies. There goes my daughter. She's going in first. I just wanted to say something real quick because I don't want her to hear me. I just wanted to tell you how car, how small this car is. This car is so small. If I get a hard on, I might hit the brakes. All right, see you later. Well, just got back from the movie. I thought it was really good. It was just as good as the first one. Uh. Now that's just sucks that you're here because I can't say nothing funny because all my funny jokes are very dirty. What'd you think of it? It's good. Was it scary as the first one? I think the first one was scary. It's pretty scary though. It's pretty damn close. Uh, got uh, two shout outs. For, yeah. no. <laughs> Mr. 45 Bullet. Say it. 45 Bullet. Mr. 45 Bullet. Mr. 45 Bullet. Mike from the Firearms Channel. Mike from the Firearms Channel. <laughs> well, why are you so shy? I'm not. You, your hood's up and you're in the car. <laughs> Don't tell me you're not shy. Anyway, I gotta go to my brother in law's hair. My brother in law's hair. I gotta go to my brother-in-law's friggin' house. Uh, I'm gonna cut his hair. Cause I uh, see, I see that you guys didn't even know that about me. I used to be a barber years ago. Yeah, I tried it all, but it all works. It all works for me. Make a little money here and there. I gotta go give him a haircut. Uh, I usually don't didn't want anyone to know about that, but everyone knows now. Yeah, I used to cut hair too. No, not a hairdresser. I'm not a gay. Yes, he was. No, I wasn't. A barber. You went to school. Runs in the family. Runs in the family. You went to school. Baby. No, I did not. Did All right, it's time to turn this video off. There's my little NRA sticker. Every car I own, there's one on there. I'd like to put one on the front and back, but the wife said, I'm not. No. Can you please never, <laughs> ever, ever sneeze while I'm videoing? Sorry. You hear me? Damn. <laughs> ah, we got another troll, guys. Tactical Matrix. This dude is such a douchebag. He made he he calls me uh, the ga the gamery channel. He's a he, is he hysterical or what? What a faggot. 
So I gave him my number. I want to. I said, "Yo, if you got any fucking balls, you'll give me a call." These people, man, they talk a lot of shit, but when it comes down to get to the nitty gritty, they don't want to. And that's just a phone. Could you imagine if you faced them face to face? They'd probably run like a fucking cat, like a little fucking crack cat. Ugh. I hate people. This is why I hate YouTube when this shit goes on. I, I just have a hard time dealing with it. Anyway. I don't want to get too mad because my daughter's in the car. And then people will be saying I'm a bad dad. Uh, what do you think of my personality, Ness? You think it's vulgar? I think you're very dry. Very dry. And that's yeah. good. It's like a breath of fresh air, ain't it? How should I do gun reviews? Should I be like, uh, you know, all these other guys? I don't want to mention any names because then they think I'm hating on them. I don't hate on nobody. I don't have a problem with anybody, man. Look at these homos. <laughs> Look at these homos, man. Look at these two. You know they're up to no good, these two dudes right here, man. <laughs> they're looking back, like with that dude with the camera. <laughs> so, anyway. Oh. I don't like doing videos with a stiffness to me. I'm not going to sit there and go, hi, you know, uh, this is this is the Armory channel, and I'm reviewing my Glock 19, and it was made in 19 this and that, and all that, and all that, just, I can't even do it. I can't even do it because it's so boring and stiff, terrible. It's so boring. Nobody wants to watch people like that. So, yeah, so, we got another troll, Tactical Matrix, and uh, the guy's just a douchebag. He really is. He says I curse too much. It's another man, another male. Can you believe a male gets offended by cursing? I said, I asked him, I, I PM'd him, I said, you must be a girl. I said, how can a male of this day and age get offended by cursing? Either that or he's from a gay country. I, I didn't really look at his channel. His channel, he's got like two subs. You, you know, he's a typical troll. He's a troll, to me he is. Uh, we don't want to give him too much air time. Um, how do you feel about... What the hell was that? My phone. How do you feel about uh, wearing a seatbelt? How do you feel about states making you wear a seatbelt or you get a ticket? You think that's right? Yeah. You think that's right? Would you rather die? Why? Why? Why do I have to listen to them for my own safety? I can understand if it was for other safety, other people's safety, but why do I have to wear a seatbelt? I think it's bullshit. That's that's a form of socialism. Do you know that? Can you not do that? <laughs> that's a form of socialism. Do you know that? By them making you wear a seatbelt. Making you stop for a red light, that's normal. Making you wear a seatbelt, I'm going to tell you what it's for. What do you think it's for? First, before I tell you. To make money. Exactly. See, you're smart. She's from Jersey. And she's very smart. I'm just kidding about Jersey. You know, there's a lot of cool people from Jersey. A lot. Frank Sinatra is probably the biggest star ever came out of New Jersey. Who else is from Jersey? John Bon Jovi. He's from Jersey. Bruce Willis, although he's a hand job, he's from Jersey. His movies are alright, but he plays Bruce Willis all the time. I just, he's okay. He thinks he's, I don't know, when, when I watch him, it's like he's always a badass and he's this little guy. I don't, I just, I don't, he, he don't convince me. He's not a bad actor, he just, he's Bruce Willis, and that's it. Nothing spectacular. Mark Wahlberg, on the other hand, I like him. He's cool. He's gonna be, he's gonna be big. Who else is from Jersey? Well, Mark Wahlberg obviously is not. I don't think he is. Bruce Willis, John Bon Jovi, Frank Sinatra, Bruce Springsteen, and Tony Bennett is from New Jersey. So Jersey's got a lot of cool fucking people. I don't know if James Gandolfini... I heard rumors that he was from Jersey, but I don't know if that's true. Anyway, so there's a plug for Jersey in a positive way. That's the only good thing about it. It's got it's good food in Jersey, and a lot of stars came from it. Other than that, it's a, it's like a socialism state, and that's the and that's the truth. Ask anyone that lives there. 
So, what'd you think of Paranormal Activity too, huh? It's good. I thought it was good. If you didn't see it, man, and if you like Paranormal Activity one, you will definitely like two. Definitely, it's just as good. If you don't like that kind of stuff, then you're not gonna like it. All right, we're taking Vanessa home, and this is just a little taking a ride video. It's one of my first ones. Let me know if you like it or not. I'm out. I'm out of here. Sorry, that's someone else's thing. I'm out of here. I didn't say I'm out. Right. Yo, dudes, what's up? Just dropped my daughter off. It's nighttime. I know you can't see nothing, so I figure I'll just keep the camera on the lights. Better than looking at a pitch black screen. And uh, on my way home, I just went over to Walt Whitman Bridge. Just went through uh, beautiful city of Philadelphia. And uh, that was fun. Yeah, I used, to, I used to see my daughter every other weekend. And she, you know, she's 17 now and she works, so I don't get to see her that much anymore. And, uh, <clears throat> I told her she's not allowed to watch my videos. And hopefully she does not. God forbid. But she's used to me. It's not a big thing. Some people, I think, they're just too soft on their kids, man. You know, time, timeouts. We didn't have a timeout. We got an ass whooping. You know, didn't mean your parents didn't love you. They just didn't want to. You know, they don't want you to be weak. And when you cuddle, when you cuddle your children like that, constantly cuddle them and protect them from the world, they're going to be a giant, giant pussy, and they're going to get picked on because kids can see them kids coming a mile away. It's amazing. They just have senses. They sense weakness. You know what I mean? Your kids can be classy and uh, well behaved, but it doesn't mean, you know, cuddling them and like, pussying them and, ugh. I don't know. I hate that when people do that. Maybe a, a girl, but some, a lot of women do, do it to their sons, their boys. It makes me sick. They're like, mm, 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 they're little boys. Oh my God. I said, that kid's going to be fucking smoking pork when he gets older. That's my views. I think I think history pretty much explained it. If you look at the people that are from the older generations, do you notice their kids are respectful, well behaved, and they have class? You know why? Because their parents were strict and they got their asses kicked if they if they were disrespectful. Today, if you look at young teens today, they're very disrespectful. They have no morals. They don't care about their culture or where they came from or the, or the, or the country or anything. They're just... I don't know what the hell they're thinking about. And you know why? Because this new generation of kids being born, their parents... And that's what you get. You get an idiot. That's what you're molding. Doesn't work. Just take a look around. Alright, this video is completely done now. We're gonna do, uh, I'm glad you like the cooking videos. You know why? Because, you know, there's only so many things you can have on guns when you don't have a gun range available. But we're gonna go to the gun range. We're definitely going next week. Uh, but um, tomorrow night I'm gonna make a famous sausage and pepper sandwich. And it's uh, very, uh, uh, popular in Philadelphia and in the Italian community it's very popular uh, I want to show you guys how to make uh, uh, sausages and peppers I'm telling you I, I, it's like I don't, I'm not real crazy about peppers but when you make it like this it's amazing but you got to remember you have to have a good roll and I know where I know where some of you guys live I know the bread's not that great because the, the best bread is on the East Coast I'm sorry it is but just do the best you can. You got to try to get good rolls, man. It, it really, it's really important. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that uh, probably uh, tomorrow night, Monday night. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Let me know what you think of this video.